What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about some of the mistakes I made in my first year in the line business. One was not letting my partner at the time help me out. They gave me a lot of good advice, but I I was in charge. Now, when I say partner, I, I was married at the time, and uh, I would have to say it was a great opportunity, but sometimes, you, you know, you just have to start something, be in charge, but it's okay to let your girlfriend, your wife, your spouse, your partner uh, help you out in some way or another. You don't want to be that person that doesn't delegate something to uh, their partner. And I could have allowed her to um, definitely answer the phones, set up appointments, um, not give pricing because pricing's not something that you just say, hey, you know, that yard's $40 every single time or $25 every single time. You know, this part of town, it's it's $25 because it's an old part of town and it has small yards. But you also have to remember, in the old part of town, it wasn't a big town back in the day. It was a small town and probably had a couple thousand people. And today it might be, you know, a hundred thousand, you know. You got to realize not all parts of town are going to be the same size yard. Uh, a cookie cutter development might be, let's say, uh, they bought an old farm or it used to be an old farm. The housing developer developed the property and they put in a couple hundred, you know, houses on that property. So therefore you have maybe 200 houses back in there, 50 houses back there. But across the street is a, a farm or a small homestead that consists of anywhere from five to 10 acres. So you can't always have that same uh, pricing, but you definitely want to learn from your mistakes, hire a, um, an office person, I promise you when they that frees up some work for you they will get with you um, your business is gonna grow because when someone answers the phones okay in a, a key very specific area they can handle uh, paperwork they can handle the billing they can do the uh, accounts you got a lot of receipts so you could probably hire someone that's a, a stay-at-home mother that uh, I was listening to another gentleman on his YouTube channel. He talked about it. His first employee that he hired, stay-at-home mom, and is she's still working for the business. So stay-at-home mom can answer phones, can do paperwork, can um, proofread emails, can, you know, women, I'm not saying all women, but a lot of women are very good at, um, typing, they're very good at proofreading, they're very good at uh, secretarial jobs. And that's not true with uh, everybody, you know. Maybe, you know, you are too, but, you know, a stay-at-home mom can do these jobs and benefit greatly. Even your wife, even your partner, you, you know. The mistake I made was I didn't hire somebody for an office job. And I should have. And I, I probably would have made a lot more my first couple years in the business. Now, if you're looking to hire a helper, you can do it different ways. You can place an ad in Craigslist or online, the online services like Indeed.com, Monster.com, these job sites, uh, career, builder, career, so on. Uh, your local newspapers, your, your local uh, dollar saver uh, your neighborhood uh, newspaper, your uh, suburban newspaper, your and so on and so on. But I think it's important to notice that you had a mistake in your first year and learn from it. But the biggest mistake, like I said, was not hiring an office person. And with that said, 
If you like this video, if you like this subject, give it a big thumbs up, spread the word, check us out on Patreon and other social websites. And thanks again. Have a great night.